what is up guys Klaus next here and today I'm going to be doing a commentary on the workout that I just did tonight this is a press workout it's one of two press workouts and it is my shoulder focus day so my press strength is really lacking behind what my pull strength is so I figured that I would have two press days instead of just one and focus on my chest on one day and my shoulders on the other so this is a shoulder focus day for me which means that it's a press day and I don't do bench press, I do barbell overhead press, which is a, a skill or a, a, an exercise that I think that I really need more improvement on. It's easy to do push jerks and push a lot of weight over your head, but to slowly muscle it up like military style is a lot harder. So I'm really trying to work on my form here. So now I'm just warming up with uh, three reps of 25 pounds on each side of the bar. So 95, and then here I am again doing another three reps, but with 35s on each side of the bar. You'll notice that I have those braces, like the safety braces set up um, just at about my chest height. And that's so that I can focus on the exercise and the movement without having to worry about dropping it. That's why I don't just use the hooks, I use the full bar so I can really focus on my press. Here we are with 45 pounds on each side of the bar. That's 135 pounds. And I'm pressing that right up there. So I'm really trying to remind myself to replace my head back into that space that I'm creating. So when you're doing an overhead press, you wanna make sure that you lean back so you don't clip yourself in the head and then replace your head. So here I'm just showing that I'm uh, timing my rest periods. So since I'm doing three reps, and I'm training pretty heavy, well, for me at least, I'm doing rest periods of two to three minutes, closer to three minutes. So here we are again into the second set. You can see I'm starting with my elbows up and I tuck them underneath. When you do an overhead press with the barbell, you want to make sure your elbows are below the bar and out a bit. So you're kind of like racking the bar on your own chest. It gives you a really good push, a really good drive. Here we are into the third set, the third set of seven. Since I'm doing such low reps, I'm doing more sets to compensate for it. Still trying to get more volume in. There's one rep and I needed to take a break. Starting to get a little bit tired already. And uh, you may or may not have noticed, but my left arm is not as strong as my right one, which is pretty common. But um, that one will start to give out before my right one. You can even see here in a better angle, the left one is always a little bit slower. So I've been trying to work at keeping them balanced. But overall, my form is actually pretty good. It's gotten a lot better. This is an exercise that I've really struggled with in the past. Taking those wrist straps off. So they're pretty tight on the wrist, like wrist straps. I need them because I have really bad wrists. I've already had surgery on one. And uh, I like to keep them tight so that after the lift, I take them off so I can keep the blood flow happening. <laughs> so now we are into set number five. That was pretty sloppy two reps needed a break yeah five sets in I'm starting to get tired elbows up tucked underneath you see my elbows they're below the bar and forward and that was a rough rep but I got it done now we're going into set six my first exercise I always do my most difficult compound lift which was the overhead press and it takes up like a large portion of my workout like It'll take me 20 to 30 minutes to do my compound lifts. So there's set six, pretty rough. And my last set, set seven. Pressing that up. And one more rep, took a little break, and got that up there. I gotta work at not using my calves to use momentum. But overall, I think I muscled it up pretty good. So now I'm going on to chest dips. I set the weight at 50 pounds, so it's subtracting 50 pounds off of my weight. And I always use kind of a wide grip. I find it more comfortable because I'm very wide. And the first set, as usual, feels like hell. <laughs> I, uh, I hate this exercise, but I know that it's so good for developing your chest and developing push strength that I do not neglect it. I'm always shaking like a leaf. My first set, I'm actually, no, I, I shake for all my sets. I don't know why it is with this one. I'm very shaky and uh, it's really uncomfortable. But the first set's always the worst, and the second one is always not so bad. And by the third one, the joints are moving pretty good. I don't feel so uh, 
so tight and stiff. This is set two. And this one I did four sets of six. So I'm trying to keep my elbows in, try not to flare it out. Really trying to engage those triceps to press myself up. And like another important thing with this exercise is to make sure that your body isn't like caving in or you're not curling up with your knees. You know, kind of cheating your way up. We're really trying to isolate those arms. Make sure that the lift is only happening because of the elbow flexion and extension. And I'm trying to hit the right depth. It's it's kind of hard for this one to go so deep because you feel like your shoulders going to rip out of their sockets. So I go as deep as I can comfortably, and then I come back up. So then I move on to the next exercise, which is a dumbbell chest press. On my shoulder focus day, I do a flat bench. And on my chest day, I do an incline. That's just so that I'm, yes, it's a shoulder focus, but I am doing a couple different uh, chest exercises. I'm using 65 pound dumbbells here. This is a five set of five. Pressing that up. First set felt really good. Using those wrist wraps again. And going into set two here. Trying to always make sure that I'm readjusting every single rep. See, this looks pretty sloppy. You probably noticed that my left hand does not keep up with my right one. So I'm always trying to make sure they're moving at the same speed. Even though I'm a personal trainer, I still, you know, I got stuff I gotta work on. I got imbalances on my own that I gotta work on. And 65 pounds felt pretty good. Like I could, I think I'm gonna go up to 70 next week. Obviously a lot stronger on the flat bench than you are at an incline, so I take that into consideration. Bring that weight up with me. I don't just drop them on the ground. I don't think that I lift heavy enough weights to just drop my weights. Here is the most unflattering angle of all time. <laughs> but I wouldn't have known that until right now when I'm looking at it. Anyway, these, these reps felt pretty good. Definitely not doing this angle again though. Man. And then going into my last set. Keeping it tight to the body, getting that full chest stretch. Bringing it all the way up. I don't lock my elbows. I don't try to like hold a lock elbow position all the way up. It's just not good for your joints really. As soon as I come up, I come back down. All right, the next exercise is the Arnold press. This is a really brutal press. Like I don't know if it's just a brutal press or it's just hard for me, but um, it's a delt exercise that incorporates a lot of chest. Every time I bring my elbows together like that, it, it giving your chest a squeeze with that rollout. And uh, this is such a difficult exercise because you spend so much time under tension. You're not really in a rest period at all, even when the dumbbells come down, because then you're working your chest, rolling them in, rolling them out. So I'm only using 25 pound dumbbells here. If you, if you can see, I'm I'm suffering here at this point. Just getting through it. But uh, the week before, I could only do 20 pound dumbbells, so I'm pretty happy that I did three sets of 25 pounds. You can see the focus there. I'm really trying to make sure every rep counts because when you get the, these uh, exercises like this, it's really easy to want to just be sloppy or kind of like cheat a couple reps. But I'm trying to make sure every rep counts. Roll in, roll out. Those uh, those roll-ins are, are actually looking pretty sloppy. I was getting really tired. I could have uh, been a little more disciplined here. And then I only did three sets of 10. So this is my third set. Checking the timer. My rest periods here were 45 seconds long. When I was doing my dumbbell press and my chest steps, I was doing a rest period of a minute and a half. Roll in, roll out, press all the way up. So like, I keep myself disciplined. I imagine that I'm like, I'm pushing a button. You know, dumbbells go up, I'm pushing a button on the roof and then I'm, before I come back down. And that just encourages me to get that full arm extension and not cheat myself. I really, uh, <laughs> I don't like this exercise. I'm, I really try and make sure that I do all the exercises that I hate 
because if I hate them, it's probably a good reason. And that means that they're gonna be beneficial for me. So here's some uh, dumbbell standing tricep extensions. Um, you can do this one lying down. I prefer to do my exercises, exercises standing when I can because I know that I'm engaging my core a little bit more when I do that. So again, this is three sets of 10. And a uh, key point is trying to keep those elbows in and not flaring out. Every single rep, I'm trying to readjust. I'm always trying to keep those elbows in. There's really, unless you're going really late and weight, it's, it's really hard to keep those elbows in. But uh, I try my best. And then going to the third set here, I'm using 20 pound dumbbells. And these feel like a grind. Because it's only 20 pounds a hand, but it's, it's 40 pounds combined weight, right? My grip is critical. I think my form on these this exercise is, uh, is pretty sloppy. Could have been better. I should have actually dropped on 15 pound dumbbells, I think. And then uh, some push-ups. So I took the wrist straps off because I feel like they get in the way of my wrist flexibility. And uh, I like to end all my push workouts with push-ups because they feel horrible they're really difficult and that's the best time to do push-ups because it's it's really uh, a battle mentally more than anything because you're too tired to do them by the end of the workout like you're physically your body's gonna send every signal that you possible to get you to not do push-ups here's my second set these are all mental like 100% mental I can't believe I actually got all my reps in I'm doing three sets of 20. I usually shoot for 20, but sometimes I only get to like 17, and I have to do another three, try and hold myself accountable, honestly. And uh, sometimes, you know, it's just been a really tough day or had a really tough workout, and I just do three sets of failure. So it might be 20, might be 13, might be 22. But uh, I really do these for muscular endurance. The best like way to get good at push-ups is to just practice doing push-ups so I'm not really doing this for any other benefit other than uh, it's good mental toughness and it's good muscular endurance it's really hard to train push-ups with like weight on your back you need someone to help you so I really just focus on endurance when I'm doing these and I'm struggling I, <laughs> I had to take a few breaks here to get these ones in that last set was a grind and I was doing rest periods of about a minute in between these. So that's uh, gonna conclude my workout. I did, only did, I think, six exercises because I'm strength training. If I'm trying to lose weight or trying to bodybuild, I usually do at least eight exercises, up to 10, uh, you know, with a little more reps than I was doing. But uh, yeah, I was strength training and I try to keep the exercise count low. I would have liked to have done cardio, but by this point it was like quarter after 12 in the morning and I was really tired and I don't think I could have squeezed any more cardio in. So normally I would do cardio at the end of my workout. Anyways, that's going to conclude my workout guys. I hope you found it informative and you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. Floss next out.